Hello students, and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Physical Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at the formation of braided channels. A braided channel, or a braided river, is when the river is forced to split into several channels separated by islands, which we call braid bars. Now, these channels become overconnected and interconnected over time. So, how are they formed? Well, basically, it begins with a, just a normal uh, river. So, here we have a channel. Now, this represents sediment. We're now getting to the lower course of the river, where energy is decreasing. As a result, it's much harder to carry the sediment. So, what this means is that the sediment is too big for the river to possibly carry, and can't be entrained. So, it's deposited and left on the river bed. So, this area here now starts to build up sediment. The river doesn't have enough energy to pick it up again, or erode it with, so as a result, it just stays there. Now, over time, it may build up, and the river can't move it out of the way. So, this means that if we have more and more things, more and more volume, inside the river, the discharge is, may stay the same, but the volume of what's inside the river is naturally going to increase, because more things are inside the river. So, let's imagine that this is the river. I'm just going to draw a quick 3D model of maybe a part of the actual river. So, here in the top is a bird's eye view of what it is. Now, so let's say this was the river originally. If we now add more sediment to the bottom, the river volume of the water is going to rise and the sediment is going to stay at the bottom. So, this pretty much shows how the river volume is increasing. So, now that the river volume is increasing, it's going to flood. So all the water, represented by these sprays here at the side, are now going to begin to overflow the river and now leave and burst the banks to go elsewhere onto the floodplain. This then leaves us with this. So roughly we could say that this used to be the our original channel. And now the water has now flooded into other areas into the floodplain. And these have started new channels where the water from the overflowed stream is now running in other directions. This then splits the channel into many other streams and the streams can meet up and start splitting again. So these braided bars of all these tiny different islands and separate kind of river channels which are flowing off in different directions are what we call braided channels and that is how they are formed. Here are some questions on the formation of braided channels. If you want you can answer these on another sheet of paper so that you can't be copying off your notes. Hit pause to give yourself some time, and then hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got all of these right, congratulations, I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on the formation of levees. As always, be sure to check out the channel or visit revisealevel.co.uk for more information on all of your A-level subjects. Good luck in your exams, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.